I do hold to an old earth perspective. I do believe that the earth uh, is, as scientists say, uh, four billion years old and, and that the universe is 13.8 billion years. Uh, there is no Christian creed or confession that requires uh, that one hold to a young earth or an old earth. And throughout the history of the church, um, theologians have held to a variety of positions. Some uh, some theologians interpreted Genesis 1 and 2 to teach that the earth is only about 6,000 years old. Others, such as St. Augustine, uh, did not understand uh, the seven days of creation to be 24-hour days. So there is uh, latitude within the Christian faith about the age of the earth. Uh, I think that a close reading of the Genesis text in Genesis 1, 2, and 3 uh, lend itself to a non 24 hour interpretation. There's a number of reasons for this. Uh, for one thing, the word day is used, no, is used three different ways uh, in the text, uh, and it makes it very clear that we are not to understand each day as a 24 hour day, because for each day that it speaks about, the first day, or day two, day three, it would say evening and morning, day one, evening and morning day two, uh, evening and morning, uh, day three. Well, if you think about it for a second, that's not a 24-hour period. Evening to morning uh, isn't even the daytime. Evening and morning is talking about uh, the evening, uh, the nighttime. And it's talking about the time in which God would create and then there would be a period of rest. And so just a close reading of the text itself indicates that one should not read Genesis chapter 1 as teaching a literal 24-hour period. And so I'm very comfortable with an old earth perspective because I think that it not only fits uh, what uh, the text says, but it also fits the latest findings of science.